All right, how's it going there, y'all? Hope y'all having a good Manic Monday. Let's see, I got the fourth today. Man, we getting well into the year. If y'all know what Julian calendar is, it's something like, let's see here, like 96, something like that. Because they go by the days in the year. So 365 days in the year. So when you count the days, not the months, Okay, it's something like 96 or 97. So that's a little bit of little class today, what they call the Julian Julian calendar. Okay, some calendars they have that they'll have that number on there. But anyway, uh look, I want to talk about Russia and Vladimir Putin needs 150,000 soldiers for his military. All right, and in the midst of that, they use an actually Syrian soldiers to help fight that war. All right, China doesn't want to have any involvement, at least for right now. All right, let's see what happens about another, let's see, six months. How that's going to turn out with uh, Taiwan. All right, but I'm just thinking goes. Uh, this goes to show that Vladimir, I think he's, he's losing control in his war. That the soldiers are losing the morale. And many of them probably feel like they've been hoodwinked. There's been testimonies like on uh, YouTube on some of those Russian soldier hostages that felt like they've been hoodwinked, okay? You know, this same thing happened with Adolf Hitler. And I don't want to sit there and take sides at all because really if you go to war, you know, they'll make you think the war is all sweet and all this other stuff. Even when I went to war, American soldiers, then it turns out to be casualties there may be people around you all right a couple of people around you that you may not see if you go if you ever end, end up in that situation and people end up staying longer than what they think they're gonna stay all right like when I went the second time I went to Iraq I thought I was gonna be there for six months that turned out to be uh, 15 months okay so any American soldiers and listening to this you may want to count on if they tell you six months be prepared for seven to eight months you may want to share that with your friends or with your comrades or with your uh any leaders out there with your soldiers or whatever okay but anyway yeah y'all need a job get with uh with putin all right hey it's a job right yeah in the end of the day this war is all ploy anyway even if let's say Ukraine is winning, in which uh, they feel, maybe outlets overseas that feel like it is, they're gonna have to rebuild everything back over anyway. The war they're gonna have to get back uh, to get back to. I couldn't understand why Russia is destroying what they're trying to take. Okay, there's supposed to be a second fire near uh, by that um, that plant, that nuclear plant that they blew up. I'm just thinking, man, these guys are crazy. It makes no sense at all. But yeah, that I think that Putin's getting a little bit desperate. All right, I think with the election coming up, uh, they have like a midterm election just like us, and then they have a 2024 election. I don't think he's going to get reelected in 2024. He'll stay, but he won't get reelected. But let me know what you think about this topic, okay? And also let me say this: Yes, Ukraine might be winning the war, but with these sanctions and so forth, I believe Russia and China, that they're winning with the sanctions because the ally uh, countries, like where I live in, in America, they rely on them, especially China, more than they rely on us. They have more, more resources than we do, okay? I mean, they got it all over there. And uh, so basically, as Americans, they pretty much just, you know, the American government, they're just cutting themselves off and it's going to affect the people. All right, that's enough talk, though. All right, y'all have a nice day. <clears throat>